This is an awareness test. How many passes does the team in white make? Go! The answer is 13. Stop. Let's consider for a moment the images that you see when you turn on your screen. We must define our effort not as a boundless global war on terror. You are immersed in a stream of audiovisual content, a matrix of representation that influences how you think and how you feel. In his 1997 lecture, Stuart Hall describes the notion of representation as a constitutive property of the thing it is representing. Talking about the fact that it has no fixed meaning, no real meaning in the obvious sense, until it has been represented. And the representation, since they're likely to be very different as you move from one person to another, one group or another, one part of society and another, one historical moment and another, just as those forms of representation will change, so the meaning of the event will change. And therefore, representation is not outside the event, not after the event, but within the event itself. It is constitutive. The meaning of an event is constructed by its representations. Often this representation comes from the media. Consider two news outlets covering the same response from Senator Bernie Sanders at the 2016 Democratic debate. Do black lives matter or do all lives matter? Black lives matter. <laughs> On any given day, some innocent person like Sandra Bland can get into a car and then three days later she's going to end up dead in jail. Critics calling it the dumbest answer at the Democratic debate. Before the candidates hit the stage, I said on the five, my number one question would be, do black lives matter or do all lives matter? Well, guess what? CNN asked that very question, but I never expected these answers. Here's Bernie. Let's put that question to Senator Sanders. Black lives matter. <laughs> we need to combat institutional racism. From top to bottom? Well, in case you're wondering, Hillary was able to dodge that question, but I still have to ask, what the hell are these people thinking? Isn't the president supposed to believe all American lives matter? Notice how the exact same clips are represented differently and edited to depict opposing narratives. Media can construct a specific narrative by manipulating visual representations. Now let's finish the awareness test. The answer is 13. But did you see the moonwalking bear? This series will show you how the narratives that you've been led to believe are constructed through the use of editing, language, and rhetoric. You will learn to see the moonwalking bear. All we ask is that you pay attention.